it's Angelo with Angelo's Workbench. Welcome back to video number three in the Revell Foose Custom Cadillac Eldorod video series. I'm going to start right out with how I mix and spray my clear. I've been asked about this several times. I use a Duplicolor Paint Shop Cork. You'll see there I get it at uh, Advance Auto Parts for about $25. Give me enough clear coat to do many, many, many model cars. And then I also use Duplicolor's inexpensive lacquer thinner to cut it. And that is also the thinner I use to clean my airbrush and thin with anything else that I'm spraying lacquer, nail polishes, whatever. That's the thinner I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 10 dropperfuls of clear coat in there. And then for every 10 dropperfuls, I use 3 dropperfuls of lacquer thinner. So you can count these if you want, but I assure you there are 10. And I am going to put 10 doses in. Put three of the lacquer thinner, mix them all up, and then the clear coat would be ready to go. And once this is mixed up, we'll go ahead and start shooting the clear coat onto the body and the other painted parts. If you want to skip ahead to the assembly portion of this video, I do assemble the engine and part of the chassis. You could skip ahead to about the 5 minute and 20 second mark. The assembly begins there. I do medium wet coats with my clear coat. The clear coat is easier to work with that way. It does tend to be taking on a milky appearance this day. There apparently was a little bit of uh, high humidity that day. The clear coat does do that sometimes, not all the time. This particular clear especially is kind of susceptible to high humidity. However, even though it does have a milky appearance, it does dry clear, which is good. I didn't have to strip it back and do it again. So I just kept on going because I know that it's going to dry clear as you can see in this shot here. There it is, a shot a few days later. It's nice and clear. So we're going to continue on clear coating the smaller parts. This is the second coat of clear for these parts and then I'll bring the body back in for its second coat of clear shortly. Now we'll get started with some assembly. I have painted the belt pulley assembly flat black and now we'll detail the pulleys with some Tamiya XF16 flat aluminum and then we'll continue with the engine assembly and get it put together.
for those of you with a keen eye, you may have noticed that the valve covers are in fact the wrong color. On this kit, the instructions uh, tell you to paint the valve covers the same color as the engine. However, uh, upon review of the actual car, I did some Google image searching, I found that the valve covers are in fact body color. So later on, I did remove the valve covers, paint them the correct color, and reinstall them. A little red sharpie over a silver part makes it look just like anodized aluminum. Sharpies come in handy quite a bit on the bench. Here I'm using a black Sharpie just to add a little detail to the engine. I've used Sharpies for detailing anodized parts as I did just a little while ago. Little caps and things like that as I'm doing right now. Headlights, taillights, turn signals, you name it. Sharpies can be very handy if you need just a little bit of color without having to get out the paint. I really like how the motor and chassis build up in this kit. It just looks great. The exhaust on this kit is a little different from exhaust on most kits. Uh, most kits the exhaust would install from the bottom. This kit the exhaust installs from the top, rests on the top of the chassis, or the frame, 
and then you have to kind of loop it around and hook on to the end of the header as I'm doing here with this one. of the exhaust that's going to wrap up video number three in the Ravel Foose custom Cadillac Eldorod video series. I hope you'll come on back and join me for video number four where we will continue with the assembly move toward the completion of this fantastic model. Don't forget to check out my playlist I have over a hundred videos on this channel now all organized into the playlists by the build so they're easy to search and find. If you haven't already subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button and also don't forget to like this video I really appreciate it. Thank you for stopping in and watching.